What's going on fellas? Today is just kind of a debriefing on this waste oil burner. I am going to be testing it again on a much leaner burn this time. Um, the last video we saw was an extremely or ultra rich burn and that resulted in some almost immediately fouling of the combustion chamber. I just wanted to see how well it could shoot a flame out that big so I just let it go. But today we're going to be adjusting the fuel. I'm going to put a smaller oil line because just changing the oil line on a siphon nozzle can affect how well it operates. We'll also be adjusting this needle here, which um, does change the flow rate of the oil also. And we're gonna try and do a super lean burn and see if we can get this thing running red hot today. This thing measures about 15 centimeters in length. And just for visual comparison, it's the length of a $20 bill. So we're gonna test that out. And I also might go ahead and try testing some different cowlings and some uh, divergent nozzles and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a lot of material to try here. And plenty of tools here in my prison. This is a prison, by the way. Uh, YouTube locked me in here and won't let me out. They forced me to make videos. And every once in a while they open that door and they throw a bunch of metal in and lock it. And I just been dacking it over there. So we got some stuff to work with. quick debriefing. Basically what's going on here is our nozzle is melting. It's falling apart. It's leaking air. Things just aren't working right. But I wanted to get the test running long enough to observe whether or not the combustion chamber is plausible. And we had it running pretty good this time around. Getting this thing red hot is uh, very promising. That means we can do something with this. We can basically make a miniature version that bad boy right there which I may do because the miniature version is so much more economical if you're a blacksmith and you're into making knives and stuff like that and you wanted to build one of those little micro forges or um, whatever you call that little thing that you stick the blades in. it's not a foundry is it I'm not sure of the terminology but at any rate guys this nozzle is a no-go just wanted to test it. it did work out with this we're going to try out this combustion chamber, however, with a much more robust nozzle. I don't know how the flow rate's going to work out on it, but uh, we're going to give it a shot see what happens. By the way, that's how much uh, fluid we used. They're right there at one liter. I'll kind of try and figure out how much fluid that is. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but... Uh, to be rather time consuming. I think I'm just gonna wait and get a working nozzle going on this thing before I bother with all of that. It may turn out I do have to use this uh, hardware, but this plastic body is just not gonna work out. So something's gonna have to happen there. 